This video demonstrates the seating technique for the Novasure endometrial ablation as explained in the most recent Instructions for Use manual. Proper seating is important to help facilitate the best outcomes for your patients. Now let us review these steps. To provide a customized ablation, the uterine length and width must be obtained. The cavity length can be measured using the Sure Sound Plus device. Once the patient is dilated to 6 millimeters, insert the Sure Sound Plus device transcervically past the internal os until the distal tip is in the uterine cavity. Once inside the cavity, squeeze the finger and thumb rings together to deploy and lock the malacot. Pull the device back towards the internal os until the malacot meets resistance at the internal os. Slide the blue measurement tab distally until the inner probe reaches the fundus. Determine the cavity length using the indicating markers in the window of the measurement tab. Slide the measurement tab proximally to fully retract the inner probe. Separate the thumb and finger rings to unlock the malacot to remove the Sure Sound Plus. Before entering the uterine length into the control unit, check the NovaSure device outside of the patient by deploying the array. Squeeze the device handles together to ensure the NovaSure device fully opens and the array position light in the lower right corner of the screen disappears when the device is deployed and reappears when the device is closed. Adjust and lock the NovaSure device to the appropriate length. Plug the NovaSure device into the RFC10 generator and enter the cavity length into the control unit. After the dilation process is complete, start by maintaining slight traction on the tenaculum to minimize the angle of the uterus. Slide the cervical collar all the way back and holding the front handle, insert the device transcervically in line with the axis of the uterus until the distal tip reaches the fundus. Now withdraw the device approximately 0.5 centimeters from the fundus while slowly squeezing the handles without locking the device up to the point of increased resistance. Continue to slowly squeeze the device handles together while gently moving the device about a half centimeter to and from the fundus. Then gently rotate the handles of the device 45 degrees left and right until the handles lock. The width dial should read greater than 2.5 centimeters. Once locked, gently move the disposable device using anterior, posterior, and lateral movements to the left and right. To complete placement, slightly pull back the device until the width dial reading reduces by approximately 0.2 centimeters to 0.5 centimeters. Then advance the NovaSure device slowly and gently to the fundus. Again, make sure all movements are slow and gentle. The width dial should read greater than or equal to the previous measurement and should always be greater than 2.5 centimeters. Enter the uterine width measurement from the width dial into the RFC10 generator control unit using the plus and minus buttons. Confirm length and width measurements are correct by pressing the green check mark. Do not treat a patient with a uterine cavity width less than 2.5 centimeters as determined by the width dial after device deployment. Slide the cervical collar forward using firm pressure on the thumb tab until the cervical collar forms a seal against the external cervical os. Begin the cavity integrity assessment by stepping on the foot pedal. Once the cavity integrity assessment is passed, a green check mark appears. Press the Enable button on the RFC10 generator. You may now press the foot pedal to begin the ablation. The moisture transport system suctions the uterine cavity onto the NovaSure array. Once the RF energy treatment begins, RF on and the timer will appear on the blue screen on the NovaSure controller. The NovaSure procedure features smart depth technology, which continuously monitors and measures tissue impedance to ensure a customized and reproducible depth of ablation. The only GEA designed to terminate upon reaching a scientific endpoint of 50 ohms of impedance. After automatic termination of the ablation cycle, approximately 90 seconds, fully retract the cervical collar by using the tab on the cervical collar and unlock the disposable device by pressing the lock release button. 
Close the disposable device by holding the front handle stationary and gently pulling the rear handle backwards until the array has been retracted into the sheath and the disposable device can be removed from the patient.